you already know who you are. You ain't trying to press nobody. Who you got that press? You done came through the ranks. You've been tested. You know what I mean? And you stood up. I mean, you've been tested and you stood up. And you still standing up. So who you got that press? You ain't trying to press nobody, man. Be who you are. You know what I mean? Be true to yourself. Because I'm saying that you do shit, man, for, the, for other people. Can you fake it?
feel like I take them, I want to take them, I want to take this shit with me everywhere I go. So motherfuckers could, could know and understand. Also see the, see both sides of it. The good and the bad. You get what I'm saying? The good and the bad that comes with fame and shit like that. Like, shit could, it could, it could make you or it could break you. Sometimes it break people for a minute and then they get themselves together because shit a lot. How that feel? Huh? How that feel? Dude? This city got your city. You don't got your city. You don't got this. And then also to have like kids, and, and I, I wouldn't even say just kids, just to have like a whole, the whole world like backing what I'm doing and loving this shit, and and me inspiring motherfuckers to to want to ride and take this shit to the next level. Like I always say in every interview or everything you've ever seen me do, I'm really trying to turn this shit into something and help the kids or help. We keep saying kids, but really the youth is, that's after us. So, you know, we focus on that. Help the community, that's what I like about. Like, if you see a homeless person here, give them food and stuff like that. That's what I like about. He's a great dog. You know how I ride their bikes. He help kids. See, he help Ty with a dirt bike. Nobody else can do that. Ain't nothing that I... Ain't nothing that I can't hold I'm getting everything I ain't for I'm getting everything I ain't for Bulletproof the range row Niggas be on angles I done bought so many diamond chains so They detain Promising me niggas saying my name Gonna get main I be working the same names and rooms Well Bike The bike culture don't No Shit be having their own they own things built up in their head against me until they really get to know me and just really see what I stand for and what I'm about and like how I'm really coming as a person, you know what I mean? But of course from the outside looking in, some people might say he arrogant, some people might say, no, I ain't arrogant, I'm, I'm approaching I'm doing a lot for myself and, and built up to a level where you gotta come at me like a wreck, I would say. You really gotta come at me like a wreck. Not saying like on those like, come at me correct on like no, as if like it was to get into a situation of an altercation or something. I'm just saying, like, just really, if you're coming at me on anything, just business or whatever, you gotta come at me correctly. Because uh, me, myself, I built up my brand. I got a whole team. You know what I mean? So it's just really we we trying to make the brand bigger than life. Put it on my soul. I can put it on my soul. We be going to the awards, and I ain't putting on my pole. That new Virgil and Dio can't go. I got it on. But I really started trying to turn this shit into something once I signed with me. I ain't never think about really turning this shit with like some fun shit. You know what I mean? I never really knew what I was going to do in my life and where it was going to go. Yeah, I'm getting everything. What got me to this point as where I'm at right now is me really over time I was having people around me who this is like it's a it's a it's a song me guys say he say certain motherfuckers almost had me put my dreams on the shelf. You know what I'm saying? I had certain people around me that was like holding me back. I really, they was holding me back. They forgot the objective. You know what I mean? All they seen was the lights and and, and this, that, and the third. Really, you know what I'm saying? So they really wasn't pushing me to do more shit. You know what I'm saying? All they knew was we gonna go in the club, we gonna pop these bottles, we gonna have the cameras, the lights gonna be on us. But no, when the lights go out, then what? So really, I got away from those type of people who was holding me back. And I wouldn't even say surrounded myself with the guys that was, they was the guys that was pushing me was always pushing me. It just was, I got caught up on the other side of things and just like, I got stuck really. I would say I got stuck and now I'm tapped out of that shit and really focusing on my brand because that I was around wasn't helping me focus on, on, the, on my brand. Right. They forgot how they forgot how we got here and and was everybody was thinking they was somebody. You understand what I'm saying? Like I don't know if forgot how we got here. You know what I'm saying? I got us here, so now let's keep pushing the one, but we gonna bring everybody up with us, but let's make sure the ship keep going on the moment we really got this shit started. You know what I mean? I want this shit to be bigger than life. I ain't gonna lie. I want this shit to be big because 
it has been eight years since I dropped some shit. I wanted to bring them. Like, that video, I just really brought them into the bike world with that. Now I'm bringing you up in my whole space to really know what's going on throughout my life. To know what's going on with me with the bike shit. The shit I got going on, the shit I got coming. The movie, Charm City Kings. Yeah, I'm just doing like you know yeah, that one I did. Like, I did at 13 million views. Like I'm trying to read you that shit. It's like, oh yeah, that shit just yeah, day in the life shit. Yeah, yeah. What's up, y'all? You up in that thing with the red seats? Up in that hawk, go up in that hawk, go crazy. I would say some of the bads that we don't see with, with like fame and motherfuckers being in the spotlight is that shit you don't see in the shit nine times out of ten we don't mention because it's personal and it's, it's, it's some shit you don't really even want people to know sometimes it be the shit with family it's how certain people in your family start treating you start acting towards you because they know the position you in they know where you made it and they know what you got or what you capable of having. You get what I'm saying? Because sometimes you can be more famous and have your fame can be more than your money. You know what I'm saying? So you be more famous, you be more famous than your money. So your family look all your family really knows this nigga famous. So this person famous. He got this, he got that, you get what I'm saying? Or, but, it's not like, that's what I got. It's not what y'all supposed to have or what you think y'all supposed to have because that's what I got. These are my blessings. I share them, but people become entitled. You know what I mean? And that's where you fuck up at. When you become entitled of someone else's blessings. That's not yours. Because what they give you is what they give you. You know what I'm saying? Or what they share with you is what they share with you. Nobody is entitled to give you shit. Niggas get hate on me now. We do it all, we can't no laws. They think about taking me down. We didn't put bulletproof all in the cars. I told them bring 80 more rounds. I put baguettes on all of my dogs. They fall, they making a sound. I'm on the yacht with a bitch. I got to that stage of letting shit go and letting people go eat your family. It just, I had to realize, see what was, see what it was doing good and see what it was doing bad for me. And the bad outweighed the good. And the good wasn't nothing special. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be like, so then you sit back and you look at it like, wow. Most of the bad is the shit that really was affecting the good shit. They weren't really doing much. People, people really, they weren't they not really doing much. You know what I'm saying? But they affected you so much with bad shit. But you love people so much, it's so hard for you to take yourself outside, outside the box and get away from them. Because it's love. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you can't let love so easy. You feel what it's like in a relationship with a female or something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, Still love it after you bring up with them or something. You know what I'm saying? Not just that day we break up now and I don't play no more. Just that third day. Love is a strong word. Strong full of word right there, right? So, especially when you really mean it and you're living by it, saying that you love a person and shit like that. You can't let a person go that easy. But over time, the actions of that person or the people push you away even more and more and more. It's like you show them. They show you their true colors. And then when they keep showing you, it's like I'm a little nigga yeah, kicking me in my ass. Represent for Bum Buckler, Dream Chasers, yeah. Real El Chapo, me Millie, aka me Killy. I ain't done. We ain't done. Stay tuned. She said, You ain't gonna do it. We go out the country having a three way. I was getting hit in the world, start fucking as soon as I got on the PJ. You was trying to talk like PJ, I was trying to bust it and do it.